So I'm just going to do a close-up of how the series elastic actuator works. And here you can see there's a single spring and there's a sliding mechanism which slides up and down this aluminium tubing, which is a standard extrusion. And inside this slider there are two bearings, one on either side, and attached to the motor shaft there's a crossbar. So you can hardly see it move because the spring is very stiff. There you, go. you can see that gap opening up between the end of the cam and the bearings in the slider, which means the spring is being compressed, even though you can't really see it. Um, and that just puts a spring between the connection to the rest of the robot and the motor which drives the pitch. There's one in the pitch, there's one in the elbow, and there's one in the yaw, which is tucked inside here. And the other one's built into the upper arm. So between them, even though the rotation doesn't have one, which is done largely for, for aesthetic reasons, it does allow a series elastic movement across the four joints.